the thousands who did not have bread. I saw him bring people back from the dead. He drove out demons from the demon bound and taught us how to walk on holy ground. Where's the cabin? My cabin, if you don't know. If you've never been here, well, you're missing out. We're in John 17 today, and thought we would read a little bit. Uh, it's not a long chapter. No, no, I so we could do the whole thing. Yeah, we'll do the, Darren will read it. Oh, I'm in 15, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> 17, yeah. John 17, if you'll turn there, um, we'll take a look at this. Darren will read it, and then we'll have a few things to say and this isn't obviously it's not live on Thursday night but um, but if you have questions yeah. or anything just, comments yeah, thoughts really whatever good. be sure and uh, let us know and uh, we appreciate you viewing and and uh, taking part in this study this is a good it's a good time for the disciples it's probably better than they realize uh, oh, Jesus much better, yeah is. Jesus knows how good it is and how it's going to be good for them, but uh, they don't really, well, like most times in our lives, we don't really have a clue till after things are over or close to over, how special it was or how good it actually is. <clears throat> so this is one of those times he's getting ready to, to leave this earth. And so he's, he's encouraging them and, uh, but he gets, we were talking about this a little while ago, he he talks, um, it's for their benefit, but he's talking directly to the Father about them. And so they get kind of a, a sneak peek about what Jesus thinks about them and and um, how, uh, how the Father sees things. So it's kind of a unique time. Um, it's good for them, and it'll be good for us. So. Well, he turns <clears throat> in chapter 16, he's talking to them, giving them some final instructions. And then he turns from them to the Father. Mm -hmm. um, so they are still with, you know, there with him. It's not like, we, we were talking about this earlier. It's not like a lot of times we, we read about Jesus going away to pray, you yeah. know, going and being be by himself. This is not one of those times. He's, mm -hmm. he's talking to the Father about them, in front of them. So it, here's what he thinks about his disciples. Yeah. Not just them. I think we could make that application now, but um, but this, this chapter gives us that. Uh, chapter mm -hmm. 17. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, since you've given him authority over all flesh to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you've sent. I glorified you on earth, having accomplished all the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I've manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, and you gave them to me, and they've kept your word. Now they know that everything you've given me is from you. For I've given them the words that you gave me, and they've received them, and have come to know in, uh, in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I'm praying for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those whom you've given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I'm glorified in them. And I'm no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I'm coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you've given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you've given me. I've guarded them. And not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. And these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I've given them your word, and the world has hated them because they're not of the world, 
just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so have I have sent them into the world. And for their sake, I consecrate myself, that they all also may be sanctified in truth. I do not ask for these only, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be one in us, so that the world may believe that you've sent me. The glory that you've given me, I've given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be perfect, become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me, and love them, even as you've loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you've given me, may be with me where I am, to see my glory that you've given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, even though the world does not know you, I know you, and these know that you've sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Good. <clears throat> Then 18 says, after Jesus spoke these words, he went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to the place where there was a garden which he had, which he and his disciples entered. And so, <clears throat> this is the beginning. This of, is the beginning of it all. Of the end. Um, so, we were talking earlier about how it's nice to know. Um, it, it would be nice to hear Jesus say certain things um, about you, mm -hmm. about your relationship, um, and about how it pertains to really what's going on uh, uh, in the world. I mean, why things are the way they are. It's, it's connected, and it's all connected, and they're part of this, and mm -hmm. Jesus is... Uh, making them helping them understand how important they are um, to him and the father and how this connection between <clears throat> Jesus obeying and, and setting apart and, and all of that what he does uh, is the father's business on this earth and then he is in, in turn he's leaving that with them mm -hmm. and, and building them up encouraging them giving them something to do um, and helping them see and of course they don't see everything clearly until after he's uh, he's been resurrected and mm -hmm. and the spirit is uh, is with them and in them guiding them and helping them which is that's what he's been talking about here how he's going to help them and take care of them <clears throat> don't burn your shoe okay I was getting pretty hot distracted by the the fire truck over yeah. there making some noise. But this is, you know, and I mentioned this to you earlier too, that uh, you know, there's a there, the model prayer, which which a oh, lot of yeah. times we call yeah. the Lord's prayer. Yeah. Um, to me, this is the Lord's prayer. This is Jesus really praying um, about what's on his heart and his mind and where his focus is. Where is his focus? But right now, it is on them. Yeah. And that's right. all he's he's thinking about. He's not thinking about, you know, what's coming, you know, for himself mm -hmm. physically. He's not, uh, you know, he, he, he doesn't bring up the fact that, you know, Peter's going to deny him in, here in a, a little while. And that they're all going to get <laughs> scattered and all these weak humans. You left yeah. him to, he's not, he doesn't bring up anything. That's that's that they do wrong. He, in fact, he 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 says they they believe in me. Yeah, you, you know, um, it it worked. Yes, this is we, what what we had planned, um, and and so he's praising them for their belief, mm -hmm. and uh, he's he's making that connection between um, himself and the Father, and between uh, them and himself, which includes the Father. So. Yeah. It's how all of this inner inner uh, connects, and how we then, um, 
as humans have this connection to right the supreme create yeah. you know the, the creator yeah and how uh that is his main his main objective his main priority is it's human beings mm -hmm. and, and that's there's no denying that no uh, here perfectly um, one how many yeah. times does he say that kind of that kind of, use that kind of language i and me and uh, um, you're in me and i'm in you and they're in me and you know mm -hmm. unity can we talk about that as a as a goal here is what he's praying about and, and that's what he right. wants and you were talking about the uh <coughs> excuse me about the um the well what we would typically call the lord's prayer mm -hmm. um and that was <coughs> he was uh asking for protection uh, from the evil one mm -hmm. for them. And he does that here as well That's right. um, in verse what uh, 15. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, mm -hmm. but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They don't belong to the world just as I do not belong to the world. Mm -hmm. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. So, um, <clears throat> here's, uh, I think, something good for us to know is that the, the things that we go through in this, in this life, sometimes we would, well, we would rather not go through them, Very right? Much. Yes. And it would be easier if we didn't go through them. We want life to be just uh, easy. Not, well, yeah. We and, do. We want things it, to be easy. And... Uh, <laughs> not necessarily well easy and pleasant mm -hmm. and uh we want it to go free. the way we want it to go we would like to order our life or direct our own life direct our own steps because well we think well the flesh wants what it wants and it and uh, we may think well, that we know best so here's here's a scene where <clears throat> you know if you're a disciple you may be thinking well, wait a minute leaving us here yeah, that's not what i signed up for <laughs> i mean do you know what this is like what this is going to be like and, and they, they're they, trying to kill you yeah they're going to turn on <clears> us <throat> and they really have no clue how bad how yeah. saul's going to dial it up to 11 they think it's bad now in, in acts 8 but yeah so they don't have a clue right now but so we would all like to be like it to be the way we want it to be so even in your life today you probably are thinking I would rather it be this way today than than the way it actually is. Well, we don't get to see what's around the next corner. We don't know what's coming. Um, we even mentioned that earlier too. We don't. Yeah. Providence is something we <coughs> we don't understand until after right. It's it's over. Most most of life, I think, is is kind of that way. It's mm -hmm. it's reflecting back on yeah on certain things and seeing then. Uh, or choosing to see, I think, and maybe a better way to say it, uh, God's hand in, yeah. in those things. And, and, you know, I think uh, the key is, um, well, one of the keys is verse 16 here. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. <clears throat> so that, I guess the thing for us to think about in our lives and in, in how not that things will be easier for us if we totally belong to Jesus. We don't we don't belong to the world at all, but we belong all of us to Jesus. That that life will life will just automatically be easy and be a piece of cake and and be exactly what we want it to be. It'll be so pleasant, and there'll be no disruption or discomfort. There'll be no 2020 <laughs> parts in our lives anymore. It'll all be great. And that's a great sell, but I tell you what, <clears throat> people always uh, sense a snake in the grass when somebody's trying to sell that kind of product. Like this will cure all the, you know, it's like the snake oil sales. That, right. that, that kind of thinking contradicts Hebrews 11. Yes. I mean, when you yeah. read Hebrews 11 uh, about all those people uh, of faith yeah. in, 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 the, in the Bible, uh, 
keep going a little farther mm -hmm. and you'll see that with well, the kinds of torture and death and yeah. uh, persecution that these people faced and, and I love the language there it says the world was not worthy yeah of them right and so following God and, and uh, being like Jesus does not yeah. guarantee a comfortable no existence well at the end of 16 John 16 uh, verse 33 I have said to you yes. um, that in me you may have peace in the world you face persecution but take courage I have overcome the world mm -hmm. so <clears throat> um, is, is it would it is it safe to say that if, <clears throat> if we're not facing persecution that I, well th there were easy times I'm in the sure. lives of, I mean there was the times of, of peace in sure. the life of the church in the book of Acts I mean things are really good and there were times when things were not really good sure. at all so how do you gauge it well the i think the true gauge is this he's given you the words we have the words of of god that's what we follow mm -hmm. and he's given us the words of life he's given us the word of life he's given us jesus mm -hmm. and so following him putting our feet where he put his feet um obeying him um doing what he says i mean however listening to his commandments and following him <coughs> jesus says follow me if you want if you want peace if you want um, comfort if you want from your weariness and all that so the gauge is <coughs> not some marker that you achieve right but the gauge is following jesus and it never it won't stop no there's not a point where you can follow him until you get to be this age or until you figure this out and then then you're then you're good then you can stop yeah <clears throat> that's not the well that's not the language of of the new testament writers no. right um you know you hear paul say and uh what is it uh, philippians where he talks about you know <coughs> finishing his entire course and james says you know that if you withstand all the trials mm -hmm. uh, of life then you it, it, there's not a stopping point before your life ends right and uh, yeah so. well it, yeah there's the, the the gauge or knowing that you're hitting the mark is is whether or not you're following Jesus. <coughs> I think I've reached the end of my. This is this is it. Well, um, it's interesting too to me in this passage. He uses words like sanctify them in the mm -hmm. truth. Your word is truth. Two words that he is also called the word and the truth. Right. He says that right. I am the truth. So, how are we sanctified? By whom? By what? Yeah. Only by him. Right. He is the truth that we're sanctified by. He is the word that we are sanctified right. by. There's no, there's no other there's no other way to uh, he even tell, he says that. There's no way to get to God. Right. Um, except except by him. So everything is in Jesus. It's all wrapped up in Jesus and that's the way the Father intended it to be from the foundation of the world. Before. That's Before what Jesus even says here. Yeah. So, um, the encouragement for today would be this, I think. I think you would agree. I yeah. think you will agree. You think so? I think so. Well, we'll find out. That, it, <laughs> that the best we can do in this life is follow Jesus. The, the best we can do is, is be like him. And not to use excuses as to why we're not like him just say just oh that's just the way i am yeah it, it's just the way god made me right so we're all in this pro these the, the disciples that we read about here they were a mess and jesus knew it but he doesn't want them taken out of the world why because the world has a shot with them in it because they 
are not sold out to the world. They're sold out to Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're in Jesus. They're even though they're in the world, they're not of the world. They're of Jesus. And so the closer we can get to Jesus and the more like him we can be obeying him and, and doing what he what he um, tells us to do and living the way he wants us to live. That's the best thing you can do for a world in pain, for a world that's <coughs> reached its limit in 2020. <laughs> wow. Is to be like Jesus. So uh, someone once told me uh, that to fear God and keep his commandments. Yeah. That's the whole duty of man. Yeah. I think that's that's, that's a pretty good advice. That's a good thing to say. Um, um, we're uh, we're honoring a great man today, Gene Williams, Darren's dad, and uh, so we're down here at the place that he sort of uh, he built it. carved out yeah, right, right. In, in this area and uh, this cabin and in this area, so we get to enjoy this because <clears throat> he did and. And uh, he's going to be with uh, the Lord. And and uh, so we wanted to come down and just uh, be here today and do this. He would, he would like this. Yeah. I think he does. I think so. Yeah. So. He's already thrown some snow. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've, yeah, we've had these trees have cut loose with some snow <laughs> on us. But um, we're glad this worked out this way. Um, and so when people live lives that reflect Jesus, it matters. And like Darren's dad, Gene Williams, he mattered and he put a mark on this earth uh, because he was a Jesus follower. And, uh, I encourage you, Darren encourages you to be a yeah. Jesus follower too. And to do the best you can. You're not perfect, but Jesus is. This is why we're in Him. We're following Him. We put everything in Him. It's why we're buried with Him uh, in 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 baptism, in immersion of of our of our whole self, of our lives to to Him. We turn it all over. And uh, Paul wrote several times um, <clears throat> to live a life worthy of. God worthy of uh, the gospel, worthy of Jesus, yeah. and uh, that's that's hard to do. Yeah, but, uh, but we can do it. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can do it. one step at a time. That's right. right. One you decision. Don't get it all at once. <laughs> no, you're going to make mistakes, but uh, and we have an accuser. Satan is the one that tells you you remember when you did this or you can't do that because of this reason. God's the encourager, and we were talking earlier about how He's instructed the church to encourage each other. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's the best it gets on this earth. It's when God's people get together and encourage each other today. 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 Don't wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Do it today. So this is why we wanted to uh, come to you from this location That's right. and just encourage you from John chapter 17 to go the way of Jesus and be with him as you walk this earth and you'll be better for it and the world around you will be better for it because he doesn't want to take his disciples out he just wants to protect them from the evil one and uh, kind of like any good parent right but God wants us to be protected while we go about his business and uh, so God bless you today tonight um we hope that all is well with you, and, and we look forward to doing more of this from this location. Yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. <laughs> this yeah. is our place. This is our place yeah. now. We, uh, um, yeah, it is yeah. A, it's a good place. It is a good place. All right, we love you, and uh, we hope that you that you do well until next uh, Tuesday night. Yes, hopefully. Right? Yeah. Hopefully we get it all together again. Uh, we will be seeing you. Uh, live on Facebook. God bless you. Have a great day.